Since my last research log, three new axioms have emerged on my quest to develop a theory of temporal mechanics and quantum gravity. Axiom 1, making the assumption that the ER equals EPR conjecture is correct. Axiom 2, causality needs to be replaced with the theory of super causality that accounts for cause and effect to occur in both directions in time. Axiom 3, superposition alludes to the idea that parallel timelines may be accessible or able to exchange information and that when a superposition is collapsed, information exchange becomes localized to the current occupied supercausal system and not parallel ones. Incorporating the ER equals EPR conjecture into the framework entanglement and geometry. Integrating ER equals EPR means that the quantum entanglement described in your modified Schrodinger equation could have direct geometric implications, with entangled states implying the existence of non-trivial space-time connections, wormholes, between them. This could necessitate incorporating a geometric term that reflects the presence of these ER bridges in the equation's description of quantum state evolution. Quantized time and wormholes, if time is a quantized operator, the ER equals EPR conjecture might offer insights into how entangled states evolve through these wormholes over quantized time. This could involve modifications to how time interacts with entangled peers and potentially allows for novel forms of temporal entanglement or time travel at the quantum level. Non-unitary evolution and ER bridges, the presence of CTCs and the allowance for non-unitary evolution become even more intriguing under ER equals EPR. Wormholes connecting different points in space-time could provide a mechanism for non-unitary processes, where information seems to leak through entanglement-connected wormholes, affecting the evolution of quantum states in a way that standard unitary quantum mechanics does not predict. Supercausality Supercausality is a concept in physics that refers to the idea that causality, the relationship between cause and effect, can be extended to include the possibility of retrocausality, in which events in the future can have consequences in the past. The principles of supercausality include a range of ideas related to the potential consequences and implications of the idea of retrocausality. These principles suggest that actions in the present can have consequences in the past and that the past may be subject to influence from the future, potentially leading to the creation of self-consistent timelines or even multiple realities. The concept of free will may be called into question in a supercausality system, and there may be limits to the extent to which the past can be altered. The manipulation of probability in the past may also have unintended consequences in the present or future. Principles of Supercausality One time operates in a traditional causality sense, but when involving time displacement through a closed time-like curve, the principles of supercausality may need to come into play. Two actions in the present can have consequences in the past and future, for example, if your future self is in the past, your present day self can plan to do things and then find them already done in the past. 3. The concept of the bootstrap paradox can occur in which a piece of information is sent back in time, only to be discovered then sent back in time again, creating a loop in which the information has no clear origin. This is however not possible for objects due to the nature of entropy. 4. The past cannot be changed and that any attempt to either alter or not alter the past will always result in a self-consistent timeline. This is the idea that all events, past, present and future are predetermined. 5. It is possible to influence the nature of probability in the universe by manipulating outcomes in the past. As things will always lean towards self-consistency, even if it results in the existence of bootstrap paradoxes or partial bootstrap paradoxes where a part of information has no clear origin but not all of the information. 6. It is possible that the displacement of information through time could result in an overall increase in entropy in the timeline, as the introduction of new information or events could increase the level of disorder or complexity in the system. However, this increase in entropy would have to be compensated for by an equal or greater increase in the total entropy of the system in order to maintain the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the total entropy in a closed system must always increase over time. 7. The concept of paradoxes may not apply in a supercausal system. 
In traditional causality, paradoxes occur when events or actions in the present or future contradict or negate events in the past. However, in a supercausal system, the past can be influenced by the present or future, and therefore the idea of contradiction may not apply. Eight, the concept of free will may be called into question in a supercausal system, as the ability to influence the past may mean that certain actions or decisions are predetermined. Nine, there may be limits to the extent to which the past can be altered, as the principle of self-consistency suggests that the overall timeline must remain consistent. This may mean that certain events or actions are fixed and cannot be changed, even through the use of time travel. 10. The manipulation of probability in the past may have unintended consequences in the present or future, as the butterfly effect suggests that small changes in the past can have significant impacts on the present or future. 11. The use of closed time-like curves for time travel may have a physical cost, such as the expenditure of energy or resources. 12. It is possible that there may be limits to the amount of information that can be displaced through time, as the introduction of too much new information may lead to a breakdown of the self-consistency principle and the overall stability of the timeline. 13. The concept of the multiverse may be relevant in a supercausal system, as the manipulation of events in the past may result in the creation of alternate timelines or realities with multiple possible self-consistent outcomes. Superposition alludes to the idea that parallel timelines may be accessible or able to exchange information. Superposition alludes to the idea that parallel timelines may be accessible or able to exchange information and that when a superposition is collapsed, information exchange becomes localized to the current occupied supercausal system and not parallel ones. This axiom naturally extends the concept of quantized time implying that each quantum of time might correspond to a specific state within a superposition of timelines. The collapse of superposition then represents a choice among these quantized moments, solidifying the temporal flow within a particular timeline. The idea that parallel timelines can exchange information before superposition collapse complements the view of time and space as dynamic fields. This exchange could be envisioned as field interactions where timelines influence each other through these quantum fields before localization. Information exchange between parallel timelines before collapse could be mediated by interactions among quasi-particles. These interactions might manifest differently when observed within a singular, collapsed timeline, potentially explaining phenomena like entanglement or spooky action at a distance in a novel context. The concept of superposition and its collapse within supercausal systems provides a mechanism for non-unitary evolution to occur without violating overall causality. Closed time-like curves could act as conduits for information exchange between timelines, with superposition collapse ensuring consistency. The exchange of information between parallel timelines before superposition collapse might provide a physical basis for the ER equals EPR conjecture, suggesting that wormholes, ER bridges, are not just links within a universe but between parallel universes or timelines. The collapse of superposition could then localize these connections, aligning with observed quantum entanglement phenomena. The entanglement entropy between parallel timelines plays a critical role in the structure and dynamics of space-time. The collapse of superposition could then be a key factor in determining the boundary conditions of our observable universe within the broader multiverse. Additional goals. Time reversed equations. Considering a time reversal symmetry, you would be looking at how the system evolves backward in time. Quantum mechanics and the Schrodinger equation, in its non relativistic form, are invariant under time reversal, meaning that if you reverse the direction of time, the system's evolution can be retraced backward. This indicates the time symmetric nature of non relativistic quantum mechanics. Solving for the potential, attempting to determine the potential energy function V, X, from a known wave function psi, XT. This is generally a much more challenging task because the potential is what defines the system, and the Schrodinger equation is used to determine psi, not the other way around. This would involve differential equation techniques and knowledge of the boundary conditions and is not typically what's done. New theoretical framework, 
the introduction of time-like quasi-particles would require a new theoretical framework that incorporates quantum field theory with the quantized version of space-time. This could lead to the development of a quantum theory of gravity, which has been a major goal in theoretical physics. Integrating these components into a coherent theory of quantum gravity would require not just new mathematics and theoretical frameworks, but also a conceptual revolution in our understanding of space, time, and reality itself. Each element touches on profound questions in physics, from the nature of time and causality to the fabric of space-time and the universe's holographic properties. Pursuing these ideas could lead to significant breakthroughs in our quest to understand the universe at its most fundamental level.